And for that, she requires the assistance of... Twinkle, the Marvel Horse! Twinkle, my flying steed! I'm sorry I haven't visited you for a while. I've been so lonely in here. Such terrible thoughts one has, alone, in the dark. Uh, like I said, I'm real sorry I haven't visited you for a while. It's not important. No one cares about me. They think to mock and belittle Twinkle the Marvel Horse, do they? Well, it is they, they, who will suffer! Whatever. Can we just go? Yeah, okay. I had that dream again. The one where I do terrible things to penguins with a croquet mallet. Oh, we definitely gotta get you out of that stable more. And so, Princess Candy purchased for her friend Cheezette a chunk of fudge the size of a goat. I'd say everything worked out pretty well. For you, maybe. But I turned myself into a newt! What's so bad about that? Newts don't eat fudge! It's wonderful to be around people again. I've spent so many long nights alone. So alone. Yeah, you you definitely got to get him out of the stable more. Can I try? No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. I beg you. No. Shall I tell you of last night's dream? Dark forms came to me, whispering of unspeakable atrocities. Stop with the dreams. You can try it. A tragic irony. No thumbs. The brave, the bold, the thumbless few! For years, they have mocked us. Oh, oh, look at them. They have no thumbs. Let us taunt them. But now, who's gonna save the kingdom's bacon, huh? Ah, more lowly peons come to bow down before the great Ned Frischman. Charge! Yes! No one defies Ned Frischman! David! If you save us, I'll tell you the trick to getting to level seven. Yeah! Oh, thank you, David. That way! That way! Wow, I feel all cozy. I hope this is important. I was busy bemoaning the ghastly, aching void that is my meaningless life. Someone needs a hobby. Yes, Candy has an idea. An idea with terrible consequences and in all the world. Have you guys seen Twinkle the Marble Horse? Sort of. It's dark, and I'm frightened. Oh, Fang, I wrote you a pleasing song of joy. I had a dream about some shrieking rats with red hot pokers and big pointy hats. They didn't listen to my cries and Your harsh criticism wounds me. So you six will have to play all 914 roles. I would like to play the Grim Reaper who comes to collect the souls of the deceased. There's no Grim Reaper in the script. I can improvise. Okay, people, let's get to work! Oh, what could be more nasty or more crusty or more ghastly than our glorious Udo Bob? Shangri-La or Paradise could be even half as nice as our glorious Udo Ta-da! We are out of here. But, but, but you... How? Well, at least I've still got Mrs. Bogmelon and Twinkle the Marble Horse. Is it all right if all I do in the show is groan in agony? Hey, how much did you say this gig pays? Uh, no. And nothing. I'm gone. Me too. Wait! Uh, who'll do my show? Yeah, tell me a story. In this soulless pit of atrocities we call life, to each of us must come agonizing torments. Thank you, we'll be in touch. But I haven't gotten to the part about the shrieking maggots of grief yet. I said thank you. Don't go in there. I mean it. <laughs> 